Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Xantec. I'm Xander, and if you remember last week, uh, I was putting in uh, a new one of these, an NVMe M.2 drive, the Western Digital Black SN850X, into my girlfriend's computer. Uh, and today, I'm going to be cloning her old SSD. It's, uh, it's an old one. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's a... Uh, it's, it's a Samsung, but uh, I don't know which one, 980 or something like that. It's an SSD. It's quite old for now. And uh, it's, uh, I think, only 250 gigabytes. She needs an upgrade. Her computer's been upgraded. We put everything new in there, new motherboard, new processor, new RAM, everything. It's brand spanking new. The only thing that we haven't changed so far is the hard drive. And uh, this one is definitely... Uh, going to be a big improvement on her machine it's going to be way 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 faster so rather than deleting um, her old drive and installing windows on this fresh and then all her apps and programs and software we're going to be doing a cloning now for that we're going to be using a program called um, macrium reflect i haven't used it before this is all going to be new to me so uh, hopefully everything goes okay without a hitch i have backed everything up before you do something like this always make sure to back up your files because you don't want to lose anything um, so without further ado let's power on her computer i'll show you how to download the software and uh, hopefully how to use it without any hitches so let's get to it okay so now that we're here, opened up our browser and we'll go to Macrium Reflect. That's the software we need to download. Now you have the option to buy it, but since this is just a one-off thing that I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be using the Reflect 8 Home Free Trial, which enables me to do exactly what I need to do, and that is clone the SSD. So we'll download the free trial, 64-bit. You select the one that you need. Fill all of this stuff in. <clears throat> uh, I'll skip ahead so you guys don't have to watch all of this. Okay, now that it's been downloaded, we go to our desktop and double-click here. Yes. And here's the Macrium Reflect installer. Now here you will select your language. Of course, I'm going to be going with English. Click on Next. It will copy the files. Install. Welcome to Macrium Reflect Home Setup Wizard. Click on Next. And then accept the terms and conditions, of course. Here, since I'm going with a 30-day trial, I select this little box. It's already selected. If you bought it, you will have a, a license key that you put in here, and then you uncheck this. But since I'm just using a trial, I'll be getting rid of this program because I only need it just to make this video and to clone my girlfriend's hard drive. So then we click Next, and then it will tell you the trial version expires on the date. You have one month. Click on Next. <clears throat> you will put in your email address here. And then your registration code that you already uh, got when you downloaded the software, that'll be here. Click on Next. And then <clears throat> uh, you'll have some custom setup options. You can just leave it as is and go ahead and click Next. Install. Wait for this process to go. And I'll catch you in a bit. A few moments later. And then once that's done, click on Finish. You will need to restart your computer, so I will see you again after restart. All right, now that your computer has rebooted, you can go ahead and open up Macrium Reflect. And here we go. Light mode, dark mode, uh, just choose your theme here, whatever suits you. Okay, so now that we have Macrium Reflect open, here you're going to have to select your source disk, the disk that you want to clone. So that's the one with your Windows for me. So that's the C system, click on clone disk. 
here you will have your disk that's going to be cloned. Down here you select your target disk, that's the new disk. And select your new disk. For me, it's the Western Digital Black SN850X, as you can see here. So select that. And then here, copy partitions. If you want to use the entire disk and not lose any space, you can select shrink or extend to fill the target disk. So it'll be exactly like that. And then under advanced options, you'll have all of these selected by default, which is perfectly good to go ahead and do. So click OK. Make sure you verify your source and your target disks. Everything on your target disk will be erased once the clone has finished. So make sure this disk is the one that you want done. Everything that you have, make sure it is backed up if, because if it's the wrong disk, everything will be erased and you will lose it. So make sure you have those backups in place. Once you have checked everything, click on Next. Here you'll be greeted with the schedule page. Since we don't need to schedule this, we're doing it right away. We can ignore this. Go ahead and click Next. You will have here every operation that's going to be done. Just go through that, verify everything, and click Finish. And then you'll be greeted with the backup options. You can either choose to go ahead with that or not, and then click OK. All target data on the volume will be overwritten, so make sure this is just a warning. There's no need to panic. It's just a fail safe, making sure you've done everything. Once you are sure, you can confirm to proceed and click continue. And we are back. And as you can see, this one only took nine minutes, nine seconds. Now, like I said before, depending on your system, this can take any amount of time. Uh, I know a friend of mine did a disk cloning and it took just under two hours. So, you know, be prepared for a wait, make a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, whatever takes your fancy, and let this do its work. Once everything is done, it'll be verified. You can click close. And then, of course, you're going to have to reboot your computer. Now, once you reboot, you're going to have to enter your BIOS mode. Uh, in order to do that, you can do a few things. It's either F2, F8, or the delete key. It really depends on your system manufacturer. So you are going to have to Google your um, motherboard manufacturer to see the exact um, keystroke that you need to press to enter BIOS uh, once your computer is rebooting. More often than not, it's the delete key. That ha that's how it is on the ASUS motherboards. So just keep tapping that until you enter the BIOS, and then I'll show you what goes next. <clears throat> All right, now that we have entered our BIOS mode, uh, you can go ahead and click on Boot. Now, before you worry, uh, this was, is going to look different depending on your motherboard manufacturer. If you have an ASUS board, more than likely it's going to look like this. It'll probably boot up in your favorites section here. So you just go along the top, find your boot order, boot option one, then you can select that. As you can see over here, black SN850X, which was my target drive, it's already selected that on its own. So that's the one I wanted to boot to. That is the new clone that we have just created. So select that, then you can go ahead and click exit, save changes and reset, click OK and wait for it to boot up into your new Windows Drive. All right, now that we're back on our desktop, we want to verify everything worked okay. So open up File Explorer. Now your new drive will be marked as C, the one that you copied over. We'll check that everything is okay. Click on Properties. And as you can see here, it's totally empty. She's got that one terabyte hard drive installed. Everything went without a hitch. Windows is working. You can go ahead and uh, check all of your file systems, check that everything is there. Uh, if everything is there, you can go ahead and delete the drive that you cloned and have that for storage. Job done, easy peasy. Well, that's it guys for another week of Zantech. That was a quick, short tutorial about how to use Macrium Reflect to clone your drive. Hopefully it goes without any hitches for you guys like it did for me. 
and um, I will see you again in the next one. Take care.